Mike, do you remember that the the time we we had come down from Evanston together for lessons with Mr. Jacobs? Yeah. And I think I had the first lesson. You were the second lesson. Is this the uh, about the the tuner? The tuner. Oh yeah. yeah right. So um, I had the first lesson, and you were off doing your stuff, and mm -hmm. then you come in as we're changing over, and you said, "Hey, I was just up at Performers Music." And they have that those new chromatic tuners, newfangled chromatic. Yeah, tuners. this was probably 1982, 83, 84, something like that. Yeah. 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 And so, um, Mr. Jacobs' ears perk up. He goes, "Really? Hey, Charlie, when Mike's got his lesson, why don't you go up and get one for me?" So, I don't know if he had an account there or if I think he did have an account. Yeah. yeah. So, so I said, "Sure." So I go upstairs and I get one of the. I'm sure it was a chord chromatic tuner, yeah. brand new. Yeah. Like who knew? You always had to change uh, the, the the tuner for each note. You know, there'd be an A, an A sharp, a B, and you just dialed it up for each note. Right. And this, all of a sudden, it recognizes the pitch, or so we'd heard. It was brand new. Yeah. So I go upstairs and I get one and I bring it down to and knock on the door in the middle of your lesson. And Mr. Jacobs is very excited and we unpack it and you're playing and he's trying to get the tuner to work. Right. And he couldn't seem to figure out even how to turn it on. Right? Yeah, no, no. He was a gadget guy, but the simplest thing could really get him sometimes. Yeah, well, it was new. Yeah. So he, um, we say, Mr. Jacobs, I have to tell you what, you play and we'll turn it on. He goes, okay. So he takes your, your Holton, yep. right? Yep. And he starts playing. And we turn on the tuner and the needle goes to zero. You know, so like sharp is plus and... Uh, flat is minus, and it's at zero, right in the center. The green light's on. The green light's on. No red lights at all. And it's just dead center, and he's going, he has he has this very virtuosic way he warms up a tuba. Right. And it just, it's all, the, the pitches are all changing, but the needle stays pegged. It's like it's broken. Yeah. It doesn't move. I know, we thought, is it broken? But then when he stopped playing, it went down yeah. right away. So I, we say, Mr. Jacobs, you don't need one of these. It seems like your pitch is pretty good. <laughs> and he says, oh, yes, I know. It's, my pitch is fine. I don't need the tuner. But it's very interesting for me pedagogically. That was a great, that was a great moment. I've never seen anything like it, and I've never seen anything like it right, since. Right, right. It was, it was great. Yeah.